So then what happens with the carb that I just ate? It's stuck for longer in the bloodstream. And then in time, we will develop diabetes. So it's very nice to see what we are talking about and we will in the data. And we will convert those extra carbs uh, uh, into body fat. So mm-hmm. we will much more easily will gain fat. So if I would like to simplify that, so I can say that someone that is more metabolically flexible can allow himself to eat more carbs and not gaining weight from that. Because he use it for immediate energy yes. instead of and store it. What's interesting there is like that would lead initially like to the layperson lead them to believe that, okay, well, they're, they're inefficient at using carbs, so they must be in a state of beta oxidation all the time. But that's not the case either, right? Mm-hmm. You become very kind of inefficient at both. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, well, yeah, you're having a hard time using carbs. Well, that's fine. Then at least you're using fats. But no, you're not. Mm-hmm. You're stuck in mm-hmm. the middle. Mm-hmm. And like you're basically using an inefficient process for both. Mm-hmm. It's like their, their cells is uh, experience like starvation because their body is not able to use fat, so, but also not able to use carbs. So it's like they're breaking down fat, but there's a lot of now high fatty acid in their blood. And it's not able, the body mitochondria is not able to use that for energy. So it's like an... For and, and if, yes, a, a physiology conflict mm-hmm. in which there is like a lot of fuel, um, fatty acid in the blood and gl- high glucose in the blood, but still the mitochondria is not able to use that fuel. It's like, it's, it's, a, sad, it's a sad situation. I want to 